Hi friends, welcome to Ajay Automate's channel. I hope you are all doing good. So in this video, let's quickly see about the second technical round interview questions asked in Infosys for test analyst automation role. Okay, so you can call it as a client round because there were some client team members also in the meeting. So the interview was mainly focused on Java programming, OOPS concepts, Java collections concepts and there were various questions asked from manual testing and selenium techniques. Okay, so the duration of the interview was one hour. So this is a second technical round the candidate has already cleared technical round one okay so in few projects there will be two technical rounds and finally there will be a hr round so let's start let's see the questions asked so initially there were some programs given in the chat and we were asked to guess the output of this program okay so initial questions were fo focused on exception handling techniques so let's see the output for the first program so here you see a try block and immediately after the try block there is a system dot exit command present which means the program will be terminated here and none of the remaining lines will be executed okay so few of the candidates answer try block and finally block which is wrong because after system dot exit JVM terminates the program so only try block will be printed in the output so be careful in these kinds of questions so let's see the output of the second program this is also a exception handling mechanism there is a try block and there is an exception runtime exception is captured so initially AA will be printed and the exception block catch block will be printed which prints BB and finally the finally block will also be printed so this is a simple one so AA BB and CV, CC will be present in the output okay so let's see the next program so here there is a static block of code present and there is a method called as a okay and whenever there is a static block of code is present that block will be executed first okay so six will be printed first okay and then what happens object creation is done okay each object creation prints two from the instance block of code okay that's why after 6 2 is printed and finally the constructor block of code prints 3 okay since there is two object creation present 2 3 is repeated two times okay this is how this program works okay so let's see the final program guess the output of this program there is a string given and str dot to uppercase can you guess the output of this program so will it be converted to uppercase no because strings are immutable in java so the same character will be present in the output which is testing in smaller case okay so be careful in answering these questions these are really important okay let's see the next questions so these are some of the java concepts or oops concepts questions asked in this second technical round so the first question is how an object is being stored in memory so as you know objects are stored in heap whereas reference to that object are stored in stack okay so basically talk about heap and stack and explain the process to the interviewer okay so next question is can we declare a class as private no we cannot declare top level classes as private because it could be inaccessible to another classes so basically what we can do is we can declare inner classes as private okay so then there were questions from access modifiers what is the difference you see between private and protected access modifier what is the default access modifier and where you have applied inheritance in your project this question i have seen in many interviews we have used inheritance in many scenarios okay in our automation framework we are invoking many methods and tests from base class to our child classes so you can explain that cases to the interviewer okay and finally there were questions from lot of questions from java collection area okay what type of java collections you have used in your project what's the difference between array and array list what is hash map and where you have used list in your automation framework okay so these are kind of important question not only in Infosys for but for many automation interviews so please do go through all these questions so then there were questions from selenium techniques as i said there were very less questions from selenium and manual testing in this particular interview okay so i can get your mind was this is an automation testing role but there are very less questions from automation areas or selenium areas or agile testing areas okay because this is how now it goes okay most of the interviews they ask from coding related okay there were there are a lot of questions from programming and very less questions from selenium techniques or automation techniques okay we have to be well prepared in coding areas so now let's see what are the selenium questions asked how do you perform test execution of automation scripts so you can explain about how we are executing tests in local and how we are executing tests in ci cd pipeline methods okay then what are the challenges you have faced in automation how did you overcome it this is a question asked in many interviews so you can explain what difficulties you have faced during automation okay and then there was question like how do you verify all the links response code is successful 
how do you handle api test automation how do you prepare test summary reports so these are kind of i think easy questions right now commonly asked in many interviews okay and this one how do you think ai is, AI is helping test automation so i have seen in almost three interviews now uh, this question is being asked okay you are basically you have to research about ai in test automation and talk about that to the interviewer or if you are already using any ai techniques in test automation you can explain it to the interviewer and finally what are the new automation tools you have come across do you think it will replace selenium okay this question tests your knowledge whether you are researching about test automation whether you are up to date on test automation tech tools and techniques okay so finally there was one java program question asked you have to write a java program uh, to display number of characters acquiring in a string consider the string is automation test basically you have to uh, in the output you have to uh, let the interview know how many times a is present like here a is present one times right and u is present one time and then t is present three times okay so this is how the output should be you have to write a java program to display number of characters occurrence in the string and you will be given 15 minutes for this final question okay so these are the technical questions asked in this second round technical interview so from infosys so we have come to end of today's video i hope this video will be really useful for your upcoming automation interview okay so please do subscribe my channel ajay automates for more automation interview preparation training videos thank you for watching take care bye